Hello friends, day five. I've officially survived, feeling great. Had the chicken Alfredo last night. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, I really enjoyed the chicken Alfredo. My kids had chicken Alfredo as well, but not out of my honey's kitchen. And I think I got the better deal. Um, that's mostly because it was one of my younger kids that cooked it and um, they had a great big pot of spaghetti and then a little tiny pan full of Alfredo sauce. So we'll have to work on uh, portion sizes, I guess, next time we have her uh, make dinner for us, but that's all good. Anyway, uh, this morning, going with the meat lovers breakfast scramble, I'm just gonna go heavy on the protein today. Single serving, three ounces. This one has ham, bacon, excuse me, ham, bacon oil, sausage, potatoes, cheddar cheese, eggs, onion, uh, MHK steak seasoning, and MHK garlic pepper. So this one takes two thirds of a cup of boiling water. Oh, as far as my health is concerned, I have dropped, I, I weighed myself this morning, I'm at 207. So the weight's coming down a little bit. I'm kind of, I, I'm interested to see whether or not that levels out. But as of right now, I am not complaining about the weight loss. So we'll see, we'll see if that, like I said, we'll see if that levels out because if it does continue to drop throughout this whole process, there might be some concern to be had. But as of right now, I, you know, that's, that's about what, three pounds in, almost six days, it's almost a pound every other day. That is a little bit faster. My understanding is that like two and a half pounds per week is a reasonable amount. So this is, you know, three pounds in five days. That's a little bit faster weight loss than I think might be good. But all of our metabolisms are a little bit different. So I'm not gonna stress about it yet, but we'll just kind of see where things go. As far as feeling hungry, uh, I, I'm a little, I'm hungry at the beginning of each meal. So it's kind of leveled out a bit. I, I don't feel extremely hungry, but boy, if I miss a meal, I'm, I'm kind of like, yeah, I, I start to get a little bit uh, hangry. So, uh, but I, I don't know how much different that is from what it was before. And so controlled, controlled portion sizes. If, if this doesn't end up being a great 30 day supply, it's definitely a good diet program. So, um, Anyway, uh, that's kind of where things are at at this point. So once again, I completely forgot what the amount was. Two thirds of a cup of water. So we'll go with that. And I'm spilling all over the table here. Boiling water on my table. That's probably a good thing for my tablecloth. Oh, and I overfilled that. So I'll leave a little water in here. I don't want this to be overly saturated. The eggs seem to turn out really good. Um, I don't think it needs, it's not like the rice where if you are short a little bit of water on it, it's kind of leaves you with crunchy rice. This one, because of eggs, they, they do okay. If anything, you want to avoid putting too much water in because then they get soupy. Unless, of course, you like soupy eggs, which, you know, some people do. I am more of a fan of the fluffy eggs, so I try to stay away from overwatering. All right. Anyway, thank you. Have a great morning. I've got the mac and cheese and the chili. I am kind of a fan of chili mac, so I thought I'd mix these up. Make two, uh, take two meals and make them into one. So that's my plan. I'm gonna drop them into this, I've got a plastic bag here, uh, it's a bread bag. Drop it all into there, mix it all up, split it back out, and then stick half of it back in one of these bags, put the other half in the other bag, and from there, just cook one now and have another one for later. So that's my plan. Hopefully this won't backfire too terribly. This one takes one and a fourth cups of water, and this one takes three fourths of a cup of boiling water. So we'll just split it out and see how it goes. So you may want to look away. This could get ugly.
Never been done before. Experiment of epic proportions. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm probably not even doing anything for me to mix it up. Alright, that looks pretty good. Split that in half, right about there, I think. We'll just drop this back in. Well, this could get messy. Hopefully not. Play nice. Get it in there. Yeah. Well, the question comes down to now is, Am I a profession professional? <laughs> Completely sabotaged myself on that one. I was about to say, one might ask the question, am I a professional? We'll save that one for later. You did not see that? That was definitely uh, a five second rule. Coming into play there. All right. Now, feed the monster. If I spill this all over the place, I'm gonna really be upset. Not upset, just sad. And there's the mess. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. That's just unsanit. I don't know why it's unsanitary. It's a clean table, but you know, gotta pretend like I'm being reasonable here. Which basically means if I wasn't on camera, I totally would have eaten that. But uh, since I am on camera, I'm gonna act like I'm not a heathen. Okay. Just clean that off. All right. One cup of boiling water. Here we come. One cup. Boiling water, recently boiled water, hopefully recent enough. I almost want to go a little bit less, but we'll see how it goes. Chili mac and cheese. I'm either a master or a monster. Oh, the meat lovers scramble. Let's talk about that for a second. That was the best meal that I've had thus far. I, right when I took my first bite of that, I thought, where did this come from? Because this is amazing. So that one, yes, it's, uh, I would say that at this point, fettuccine Alfredo, fajitas, fajita pasta, meat lovers scramble, and what was the other one? The, oh man, and, No, those are my three favorites so far. Absolutely love them. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
Apple raisin oatmeal still was really good, but biscuits and gravy, meat lover scramble, chicken alfredo, oh, chicken fajita pasta, there it is. That's top four right now. The jambalaya, I'm gonna try that one again soon. I wonder if my stomach was just upset so it didn't taste as good because I wasn't feeling that great. But we're gonna give that one another go, probably tomorrow. But today, I just really wanted some mac and cheese. I wanted chili. The thing is, I wanted chili, but I also wanted some pasta. That's why I'm throwing these all together. But I think this is gonna be pretty nice. I'll let you know how it goes. If I, if it blows my mind, I might, well, you know. I don't know. I don't want to say now. But anyway, uh, we'll let you know how this one goes. Hi. Day five. Looking at the evening. For some reason, I grabbed soup. So I got chicken and wild rice soup. I've got chicken pot pie soup. And I've got potato soup. I'm thinking chicken pot pie soup. Don't know why. Just want to get through this. Let's see, lunch today, had the chili mac. It was interesting. I actually, when I first started eating it, the noodles were kind of hard and crunch, uh, like a little bit al dente. But uh, as I got more towards the bottom of the bag, it, they they softened up and they tasted a lot better. So this one, it says to give it 15 to 20 minutes. I think this one is a give it the full 20 minutes. So, but tasted great. So here we are, chicken pot pie soup. This is starting to become routine. Which, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. The squelcher today, weather's super hot. Uh, we had a heat, heat snap come through, it's 94 today. You throw humidity on top of that and it's 94 miserable, so. Good times. We're looking at one and a fourth cup of boiling water, so a little bit higher on the amount of water on this one. Probably that's why it's a soup. Since it's a soup, I'm actually going to add probably another, putting up to a cup and a third, because usually, as I've come to find, the spices on these are pretty strong. I don't know about soups, but for the other food, it's been a little bit strong, so I'm guessing that if I add a little bit more water, they'll thin it out a tiny bit. And give it a little more, Stretch out a little bit, give me a little more to eat. But so far, as far as eating is concerned, about feeling hungry and whatnot, uh, I'm a little, I'm about an hour late getting to this, and I was pretty hungry when I left. I had to, I had to leave right after work for a couple of hours, and so I'm pretty hungry right now. So it's kind of a you got to stay on the schedule if you're going to do this, which I don't recommend. Um, I'm doing it so you don't have to. But uh, just having it, having it on time at the same time every day, I think probably would help a lot with feeling hungry. But I am realizing now that I should probably not stuff my face every time I feel hungry because I'm, I probably eat a lot more than I should. Anyway, chicken pot pie soup. I'm gonna give that one a go. I'm guessing this is gonna be really good. I've always been a huge fan of chicken pot pie. And my honey's kitchen hasn't let me down yet. 